السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله الحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا والله أكبر كبيرا ولا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر, الله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب إليه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ولا معبود في هذا الكون بحق سواه شهادة تنفعنا يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم ونشهد أن نبينا وإمامنا وقدوتنا محمد بن عبد الله رسوله إلى الناس كافة بعثه الله بشيرا ونذيرا وسراجا منيرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه في الأولين وفي الآخرين وفي الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين عباد الله عيد مبارك سعيد عيد إن شاء الله خير وبركة ونماء وسعادة إن شاء الله في الدنيا والآخرة جعله الله مباركا علينا وعليكم وعلى سائر أمة, أمة نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Him and we praise His names. We say Allahu Akbar today as He said in the Quran, You are thanking Allah and praising Him for the guidance. And we have witnessed the guidance of Ramadan because Ramadan is a divine guidance. We say Alhamdulillah today. We thank Him for enabling us to fast the month of Ramadan and to make it and have another rec another good deed, inshallah, many good deeds in our records. We say Subhanallah as we see His creation, including in the last couple of days, He's showing us His signs. The solar eclipse is one of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remember that everything is calculated. The sun, the moon, everything moves by his leave and accurate, defined calculation. And then we say, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, Allah ilaha illallah. This is what we want to repeat. So when we depart from this world, it'll be easy to say, inshaAllah. My brothers and sisters, we praise Allah and we thank Him for sending to us Prophet Muhammad sallallahu to take people out of darkness into light. Darkness of ignorance, darkness of hate, darkness of bigotry and injustice, darkness of oppression into light of justice, light of mercy, light of doing good to others as if you do good to yourself. Alhamdulillah, my brothers and sisters, my reflection with you today, as I am listening to our youth, our children, and everyone around us, they are asking the will of Allah. This is the most, I highlight again, the most asked question. And as I mentioned in Ramadan, some people even left Islam or left religion in general because they are struggling especially the youth they are struggling with this understanding of the will of Allah very simple question but it is a human nat nature to ask this question but it is the role of the Quran and us whether teachers or parents to answer and not just to say believe Believe and answer because the Quran has answers. And our reflection today is in Surah Al-Kahf. 
a surah, a chapter in the Quran, 18, that the Prophet said, you should do your best to read once a week. What does Surah Al-Kahf have to do with our topic and Eid? It has everything to do with it. Because this Surah, every week, not in Ramadan or Eid, we read it. And the Prophet said, if you read it, Allah gives you light for the week until the next Friday. Why, Ya Rasulullah? So many things in this Surah. Am I doing tafsir session for you today? No. I'm trying to answer and make a resolution with you today. Many of you may not come during the year, but you come on Eid. I want you to remember, last year Eid, we focused on one statement. Allah is with us. Today I want you to focus on one thing you say every day as Muslims. And if you don't say it, somebody says it. What is that? In Sha'a Allah. Inshallah. It tells you a lot this Inshallah, we use it. But we use it in the wrong way because our thinking is wrong. Our attitude is wrong. Maybe something wrong with our faith. We use inshallah only to get rid of each other. Not to determine and have faith in Allah. Somebody comes to you. Can you help me? You just want to get rid of him. You say, inshallah. Can you promise? Inshallah. Our children lost faith in inshallah because the way we use inshallah. Our children lost faith. The understanding of insha'Allah because we forgot and we do not understand what insha'Allah is about. And this is the reason why I want to give you the answer of insha'Allah. You're in difficulty. You're going through hardship. As you say, I will come out of it insha'Allah with firm belief. People when they have hardship their insha'Allah is stronger. People in times of ease, their insha'Allah is just to get rid of each other. Surah Al-Kahf is the surah of insha'Allah. It starts with the story of youth who really wanted to protect their faith. And they said, we put our trust in Allah. And they were, you know, wanted and an order was decreed to kill them. But they said, we put faith in, our Allah, in Allah. And insha'Allah, He will give us, you know, solace. And He will give us refuge. And they found the refuge in the cave. After they made dua, Rabbana atina min ladunka rahmatan. Oh Allah, give us mercy from you. Bestow mercy on us. وَهَيَّئْ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا and make our affair according to the right path, the right way to do. This is, by the way, it's known as the prayer of the youth or the prayer of hardship. Learn it. It's part, it's the last verse of the 10 verses we usually put on our will for our children as a Muslim. I'm sure many of you do that. Instead of just, I want apartment to go to my daughter. Money, 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 money. Everything we live is for money. No. First thing, Islamic will is not to go to the lawyer and make Islamic will. You want to say to your children, stick to the religion. The same way Ya'qub wa wassa biha, Ibrahim wa bani wa Ya'qub. Ibrahim did that. Ya'qub did. All the Ismail, Isaac, all of them did that. Many of us, look at your will. Your will speaks for what you lived for. You open a will. You read it. All he talks is about money. Not even, I've seen wills, not even Bismillah on them. That's what you lived for, Mr. Khan or Mrs. Fatima. This is what you lived for. Your will shows your attitude. What do we put on the will? Please read Surah Al-Kahf every week and memorize the first ten. The Prophet ﷺ said there will be a time 
Only those who memorize and understand these verses will be protected from Dajjal. Time of Dajjal is near. And the sign, when will be that? Gog and Magog, mentioned in the Bible and the Quran, the Prophet said, the day they say, inshallah, the gates will be open for them. Everything is in inshallah. If you understand inshallah, think inshallah, act upon understand inshallah. Now, you just told us that the youth are struggling. Many people, not only the youth, some of them live in Islam. They don't understand Mashia. Sha'a means to will. Sha'a ya sha'u. The infinitive is Sha'a ya sha'u. The will of Allah. What is the will of Allah? Destiny. Mashia means destiny. One of the pillars of our religion is destiny. What's happening in Gaza? Allah willed. What can I do? What's happening in Kashmir? Sudan, Yemen. Yes, people fight. But at the end of the day, in the large scope of things, is all part of the will of Allah. But within that, Surah Al-Kahf is telling us, فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُكْفُرْ Let them, those who want to believe, believe, and those who do not want to believe, disbelieve. So at the end of the day, you make choices on things you can. You chose to be here this morning. You could have come to the first prayer or the third. You could have gone to another masjid. You could have worn white or black or blue or yellow. But you chose, you made choices in life. And that's why you're responsible. But you're not responsible where you were born, your skin color, how you look. This is Allah. You bring your will under the will of Allah is the meaning of Islam. Islam, the word Islam, Taslim, means you bring your will to the Mashia of Allah. Mashia means will, means qadr. Of Allah. Surah Al-Kahf guides us about what will happen. And we were given advice and I chose to talk to you because this is the largest number of people. Please take your deen seriously and memorize and tell your children to memorize and understand those verses. And next time you say inshallah, think like this. In, in, in Arabic means if in English. But I want you also to think of it in, in your heart. Have this in your heart. In. Sha'a Allah wills. It's in the past because tahqiq. Allah uses the past means his will. No will can supersede it. Allah. Think about it. You are making dua. Don't say insha'Allah after that. It is not proper. Oh Allah give me insha'Allah. No. When you say he is the one who decides. And when you make dua. Allah will answer you. For sure he will answer you. If he answered shaitan. Shaitan Iblis is worse than all of us combined. And he made dua to Allah and Allah answered him. Qala Rabbi anzirni ila yawmi yub'athun. Oh Allah, let me live until the day of judgment. Qala innaka minal mundhareen. He said, okay, I grant you that. You will live. But ila yawmi al-waqti al-ma'loom. To the prescribed day. Now I want you to think this. If shaitan was granted his wish... You think Allah will not grant, grant wish to these beautiful faces that bow down to Allah? Allah answered shaitan and granted him. You think he will not answer you? Don't let shaitan fool you. لا تيأسوا من روح الله Keep making dua. But she said, I kept, I'm tired. I hear Muslims say, inshallah, and make dua. 
Mama, Baba, listen to me. Don't lose hope. All what's happening before us, there is a reason. The Muslim believes Allah knows best. Allahu A'lam. Wa Arham. And He's more merciful. But people are dying. All those who have died, they are better than us now. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتِ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ You think little thing. You're judging everything. Also when you say, Insha'Allah, don't have it in your mind. I want to achieve this goal. Insha'Allah, but not according to your terms. A guy wants a girl, he likes her. He just likes the, the shell. Or she likes the shell. These days, people are very superficial. Super superficial. I pray, Ya Allah, I want that. A young man came to me a long time ago and says, I, I came, he was anxious. I, I, I want this girl. I said, what happened? She said, she doesn't want me. I said, okay. And you still want her? He says, yeah, I really love her. I said, you want to be a doggy? A man. A, oh, but it's, I love. She says, I don't want you. Her father said, on my dead body. No, inshallah, I will accept. Now you are saying, inshallah, according to your terms. You understand? Misuse, abuse of inshallah. I said to him, wake up. You like her. But Allah has someone better than her. But you are put in a mask. Like the donkey, he put, they put the thing. Why they put those patches on the eyes? So he doesn't see right and left, just sees like this. There are many options. Those, sorry, I don't want to use the word. Because those lovers will not like what I say. Some people love. You're fooled, Wallah. When you get obsessed with something, you look at it, you think of it as وَأُشْرِبُوا فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْعِجْلَ بِكُفْرِهِمْ They drunk it, it's running in their blood. Allah says, the disbelief. Same thing, you become obsessed. Oh, you don't know. Because you've invested too much of thinking and looking at something, you're going to be obsessed. If you're fasting Ramadan, you're in front of your computer and somebody brings you nice fruit, let's say your favorite fruit. My favorite is cherry. Just give an example. Honestly, cherry is the best. Back home, we call it the fruit of the kings. It's the best. It does not look like cherry. But a bowl of cherry right there. And you are going to break fast. I can't wait to eat those cherries. Your friend comes and says, we have a big buffet. All you can eat at Maghrib time. You still want cherry. You don't want the buffet. Because my investment, my thinking, my inshallah has been focused on that bowl of cherries. I don't want no buffet, no biryani, no mansaf, no couscous, nothing. I want cherry. That's what's happening with us. We become obsessed with things. We're limiting the options. Allah gives us so many options. But no, my insha'Allah is limited. Insha'Allah means leave it to Allah. Pray. Do your what you can. And leave the rest to the one who can. And he can do everything. Innahu ala. Kulli shay'in qadir. He is capable of everything. If we only understand what inshallah is all about, when one day they will say inshallah. Huh? Min kulli hadabin yansilun. And they will be released. Very soon. All the signs are there. What's happening in, in, in Middle East. All these events are signs. We should take our religion seriously. We should understand the Quran and specifically Surah Al-Kahf. The first 10 verses, study them. A young man, one of my students came. He said, finally, I cracked the code. These young people like to, all about codes. Da Vinci code. We don't have the codes. He said, I cracked the code. I said, what? He said, I was reading and listening to you. Then I read. Then I understand 
the connection between the beginning of Surah Al-Kaf and the story of Musa and Khidr. The story of the two men, one was arrogant and Allah gave him and the other one was humble. And the story of Dhul Qarnayn and Yajuj and Majuj. And now, now I can see all that story in the first ten verses and then the conclusion. And he was brilliant. Born here. Born here. He attended our classes from Alif Ba. He says, now I have a plan. I said, what? He said, I think we are not reading the Quran properly. We're reading it based on what we need. Look at the wise young man. We should not read the Quran based on what we need. He says, we should read the Quran based on what Allah wills and wants for us to do. I said, you crack the code indeed. And there are many codes to crack. He says, I realized as I'm learning, I am an empty cup. This is a step. This guy, maybe in another religion, they call him a lightened man. Indeed, there is always a group of youth. They're not like other youth. Alhamdulillah, we're blessed to see them. They're not into what the youth are. Oh, I want to get me this. This is what social media is all about. This, 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 this. You know, they're watching 20 seconds. Pa, 20 seconds. Nobody listens. You know, halakas gone. Classes gone. Nobody likes to study. All on social. <laughs> dopamine deficit. When you have dopamine deficit, what happens? Depression. I'm telling you, you're gonna run out. Too much laughing. And Nabi said, "Kathratu dhahiki to me to qalb." Too much laughing makes the heart dead. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My brothers and my sisters, inshallah, next time you say it, in in my heart, the will of Allah matters the most. I want this. But maybe Allah does want it. I need you, please, as I close. Go back two, two, three generations before us. Slow down. You need to what? Slow. The space we're going is going to destroy us. More heart diseases than ever before. In spite of the advance of heart surgery and medicine, more heart patients because this machine was not made for this much information subhanallah i say these people working in news like al jazeera and trt and all this i say it's it's hard for them every day images of children killed dogs eating children in the street people children without limbs children crying women Every day, how can they handle that? May I, I pray for them. May Allah bless them. But most likely, they need to go check their, their, their heart. There is only so much you can take, my brother and my sister. Don't take too much. Do not take too much. New, this much news was not made. I repeat what I always say. The Prophet wasallam in Medina was a population of three to 4,000. You know when they get the news? Once a week, every other week. Today we're getting news every second. We were not meant for this much news. We have become dysfunctional, depressed, our heart disease problems because we were not meant. Cut down the news. It will kill you. Yes, good to be aware of what's happening. And Allah matter. You're not going to solve the problem of Palestine. Speak for them. Donate if you want. Donate for the people in Kashmir. People wherever Muslims are needy. Africa. Wherever they are. Do that. But don't feel guilty. You haven't done anything wrong. Focus on yourself and your children. By the way, on the day of judgment. And Surah Al-Kahf speaks about that. Subhanallah. Surah Al-Kahf. Allah says, that's another lecture. They will find what they did in front of them. Look what Allah says. 
Focus on yourself. On the day of judgment, Allah will ask you first about yourself. Then about your family, your parents, your spouse, and your children. Wallahi, he will not ask you what happens 5,000 kilometers away. It's none of your problem. Am I saying don't care? Care. But there is only so much care you can give. You are responsible for your children, your spouse, yourself, your health. Take care of your health. Work out, eat, sleep. You want to give strength and you're weak, you can't. We are taking as Muslims too much on us. Don't depress, smile. None of you are smiling, none of you. Even in Eden, you look. You're making me nervous. Now you smile. Now you look beautiful. That means before you did look beautiful, you see. In Eid, you wear new clothes. Why? Dre uh, shower. So you can look good, smell good. So you can make each other. Go home, man. No nagging on your wives. No screaming. Oh, I didn't sleep. It's okay. Inshallah, he will sleep. Inshallah, you'll have rest. But that poor woman, you know, if you mistreat her, you know, she will not have no attachment to you. And these days, I have to say my last thing, divorce is going too much, especially those less than 30. And main reason, they are not patient. Too much expectation. High expectation, low preparation. No more contentment. They see in each other, what are you bringing on the table? Divorce is a solution. But when you see it after six weeks wedding, six months, and it's increasing, I have to warn you, today is family day. Learn to be patient. And don't focus on that bowl of cherries. There is cherries and apples and bananas. So don't like limit your options. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the ability to discern. But he said, be careful, don't rush in judgment. Control your tongue. A believer does not swear. You just came out of, you know, 29, 30 days of fasting. You control this horse here. If you don't control it, it will control you. Say, Ya Allah, in Sha'a Allah, I will never swear again. Because children who swear, it is because of mommy and daddy swear. Wallah, it's haram to swear in front of your children. Or to swear to each other. May Allah help us to see better future for the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu May Allah make us better parents, better spouses, better children to our parents, better neighbors. May Allah guide us. Please, in Allah, Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدَى إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ الله. Don't you say I will do something without the will of Allah, except by the will of Allah. Huh? وَقُلْ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَهْدِيَنِي رَبِّي لِأَقْرَبَ مِنْ هَذَا مِنْ هَذَا أَمْرِ رَشَدًا And Allah will guide me to achieve my goals with His help. Inshallah, this is our uh, message to you. Whatever is happening, Allah has promised victory and tamkeen. And inshallah, by His leave, everything will be fine. We just need to have inshallah in our hearts. Let's not abuse this statement.